Cards of Cthulhu. This is episode three. Yes, I had a uh, sanity loss at the end of the last episode, and I thought I didn't draw the card for the Ogsothoth Gate, which I in fact did. I left a note. So I drew this card, which then drew this card uh, last episode, which I should not have. So I'm going to put those back on top of the deck uh, to be drawn, of course, this time. And uh, so here we go, start of episode three. So the first thing we do, now we do not have any gates on the board because I used the Necronomicon at the end of last episode to get rid of the Oxothoth gate. So we'll be drawing four cards, but of course we already know what two of them are. So let's have a look. Well, we're gonna get another investigation. We get possibly another uh, follower. So I'll put this down here. And we will, um, of course, we get the gate, which we knew was coming, which makes us draw one more card. Another investigation. Wow, we have two investigations. This could be tricky. And, of course, the deep one. All right, let's uh, zoom down on the board. Let's take a look at the investigations. Uh, and um, maybe we can purchase the big game hunter, but I don't think we have any experience left. All right, so unfortunately for us, for the big game hunter, we have no experience. Uh, this would have cost us one experience to buy him, so he's going to be discarded. And of course, if you discard a follower or an item, you actually get an experience. So now we have one. Uh, so let's take a look at our two investigations. So the first one is called House Behind Meadow Hill. The house has been has sat vacant for years. Heavy dust covers the surfaces. And the musty smell of decay invades your lungs with every breath. So it's not too hard. Danger of one. Investigate three. Uh, you get to discard one minion on each cult board that has three or more minions. Of course, none of our boards have that. So the positive effect is not very useful. And the other one is place a follower on top of the draw deck, then discard this card. So not the most horrible effect if we ignore it or fail at it. And the other one we have is the Sewers of Arkham. You notice a pattern, all the missing persons live near access doors leading to Arkham's maze-like sewer system. And this is an Investigate 7 Danger 1. Uh, discard any four minions if there are ten or more in play, which there are not. But the penalty is during the next turn all minions have plus two value, then you discard this card. So again, not the worst. Uh, if we investigate either of them, it's going to be just to avoid the negative effect. And the negative effect would happen immediately if we do not investigate them. So that's the other part of the rules. Um, so I think we're going to take our ritualist and he is going to go ahead and uh, investigate the house behind Meadow Hill. Which automatically... Actually, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to have him do the sewers of Arkham. And of course, because we are the gumshoe, we get a free die. So he's going to be rolling one die then we get a free die on that one. Uh, the House of Meadow Hill we're going to ignore. I can't, we can't do that. Sorry, it's not going to work because then we immediately get rid of our only follower. So let me do that again. He will need to go and do this. House behind Meadow Hill. And we are going to use our free investigate die on the Sewers of Arkham. I guess are we going to do that? Are we going to, no, we're not going to bother. We're going to put the extra die there. We're going to ignore this one completely because we need to go out on the board and do some activities. So basically it says during the next turn all minions have plus two value. So I'll stick it over here by the spirit dice so I remember. Okay, and uh, we still have our action. So let's go and roll for the house behind Meadow Hill. So this is going to be to avo avoid this effect of placing a follower on top. So let's do the ritualist first. Please let's not roll a one. He rolls a four, he's already completed it. We get our free die, which makes no difference. Six, we complete this mi or this investigation. Uh, discard any one minion each cult board with three or more. We don't have any, but this is just gonna get discarded. So it has been uh, successfully done. Let's go back and take a look at uh, what we're going to do. Okay, so what I've decided to do as the detective is we're gonna take our three dice and we're not gonna spend our one experience to get another spirit die. We're gonna attack the yellow board, the CF board. I'm gonna try and get rid of these two minions. We have a three and a four. And we also have a gate here, which would be nice to get rid of this turn. So let's roll our dice and hope we don't roll a one on the red one. And we do not. We roll a six, a three, and a two. Well, that's not a big deal. The six is gonna knock out the deep one and the three is going to knock out the Bayaki. 
So they both get knocked out. We didn't suffer any wounds. That's going to give us two experience for doing that. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to take our Necronomicon and we can spend two experience to discard any gate. And so we use that once per turn and we're going to discard the CF gate. And again, it's a discard, so we don't get any experience. And that is going to end this turn. So let's go back to the high level and uh, let's do another turn. And of course, yes, for using the Necronomicon, I have to spend those two experience to do it. All right, so beginning of the next turn, we have uh, one experience. And now remember, because we didn't do the Sewers of Arkham, all minions this turn have plus two, and then it will be discarded at the end of the turn. So we're back to our usual. We're going to draw four cards off the top, top of our huge deck. And then let's have a look. Oops, I drew five by mistake. Let's be an omen. Um, nope. We don't have any gates, but we do have a ten. Yog saw that he's going to be twelve, because everyone's plus two this time. We have a six over Natharlotep, and Ross has got a nine, and we have a two dice. Uh, yellow horror, so it's a good thing we cleaned out this board. And now we're going to have to decide what we want to do and which board we want to attack. Okay, I've decided to attack the Nyarlathotep cult, their board. Uh, so their special card over here, pay two extra experience to cast Seal the Gate spell. We don't have to worry about that. So we do have one experience, and I don't know whether I want to spend the uh, die, which I'm not going to. We're just going to roll our three dice, regular dice. So let's go to the dice tray and see what we can do. There's a three, a four, and a six uh, minion up there to get rid of. All right, three dice. Let's not roll a one on the red one. Wow, we are doing exceptionally well. We roll a six, a four, and a four. So let's go back up to the board. And uh, I think, well, we can just, we know we have three minions up there. We don't need to go to the board. We had a six, which of course our six die is going to get rid of. We have a four, which the four can uh, destroy. And we can get rid of the three with the four. That's going to give us three more experience. So that is great. So that gives us now a total of four experience. And I think I'm going to spend two of it right now to uh, do the hurry spell, which means I can attack one more time. And so let me just readjust the camera and we'll get to our second attack. All right, didn't need to adjust much. We're going to attack the CF board. We have one sleeping horror here. We only need two dice. It doesn't matter what's on them. But we don't want to roll a one on the red die. We roll a five, a one, and a three. No problem, we destroy the sleeping horror. Away it goes, it didn't get a chance to be woken up by any of its minions. We get two experience for that. And that's going to be the end of the turn. Um, and we have no gates on the board, so we don't need to bother with the Necronomicon. And our Ritualist lets us move any minion with a value of two or more. And I totally forgot, didn't I? Did I not forget that minions this turn have plus two? Oh, well, it's a good thing I caught it. So let's do a little bit of a retroactive move here. Sorry about that. Uh, yes, we had a six, a four, and a four. So let me just redo the dice here, because I totally forgot. But I'm catching it now. We had a six, we had a four, we had a four. Now, we had these three minions on Narlathotep. This would be eight, six, five. So we're going to get rid of the four with the six. That's going to give us one experience. And then we're, we have eight left. And the two dice making up the eight can get rid of the one six. That leaves the three. So we're going to be down one experience. Now, we still did have enough experience to attack the Sleeping Horror, which we then got rid of. Uh, so now we have a total left of three experience and not four. So, sorry about that. Yes, minions had plus two this time. All right. Now, this card will be discarded as during the next turn, which was now all minions have plus two value, then discard this card. So, that leaves us with the three up on the Nyarlathotep board, but that's okay. We're going to live with that. All right, let's get back to uh, readjust the camera and we'll go on and do another turn. All right, no gates on the board. And so we are going to draw four cards off the top 
of the still extremely large pile. We're doing okay. Famous last words. All right, what do we have for our four cards this time? Looks like we have some minions and we have a potion of wisdom, a possible thing for us to purchase. We'll have a look at that in a minute. So back up on the Nyarlathotep board, we have a nine and a two. We now have three minions up there and a nine on the Yog sothoth So now we have a 10 and a nine over on the Yog sothoth board. That's not good, but we're into the purchase phase. We can purchase this potion of wisdom. It says discard to pay an experience cost. So if we need to spend an experience cost, which could be uh, discard any gate, which would cost us two experience. So yeah, you know what? I think we're gonna buy the potion of wisdom because it costs us one experience. Leaves us with two. Now we have to decide which board to tackle. Boy, I do not like the Yog Sothoth with the 10 and the nine. Narlathotep with nine, three, and two is not good either. Let me just think about this and then we'll come back and decide which one of the two we want to attack. All right, so I've decided to tackle the Yog sothoth board. It has a 10 and a 9, so a Shoggoth and an Axthagora. Uh, Azanthagora? Okay, whatever that monster is. Sorry for my horrible pronunciations. All right, we're going to do that. Uh, we are not going... Yeah, we're not going to spend any of our experience uh, to get any spirit dice. We have just our regular... Uh, one red and two green, so let's go to the dice tray and see if we can knock out one of them, which I hope we should be able to do. Well, let's see if we can. All right, so we're tackling a nine and a ten. Let's roll the dice and hope we don't get any ones. Well, we have a total of nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we are going to knock out the ten, which is going to give us only one experience point. So that takes us from two to three. And now that board only has one. Now we could spend two experience to do the hurry spell and attack again. But I don't think we're going to bother with that. Uh, we are going to use our ritualist ability this time. Move any minion with a value of two to four to any cult board. So the Narlathotep board has a three and a two. So we're going to take the three off the Narlathotep board. And we're going to stick it right down here on the empty CF board for now. So, of course, he is now used. That is going to conclude this turn. Let's go ahead and do another turn, maybe two. All right, so skipping some steps because some things are not happening. But at the beginning of the turn, we're going to refresh items and followers. Uh, they're going to draw cult cards. Again, no gates, so lucky for us. We're just going to be drawing four cards. Uh, but like I said, all of a sudden something can hit the fan and you can be in deep doo-doo. All right, well, we have a couple of minions for Awasa. Now that's going to make the Awasa board now uh, three minions. And they get plus one to each one of their minion values. And we get a deep one on the CF board, which already we moved the uh, Biaki from the Narthotep board. Blech, can't pronounce anything. And now, this is not good for us. We have Kathun, Minor Horror, and he's going up on the Arwasa board. And yes, indeed, there are three minions up on the Arwasa board. So, uh, up next would be Purchase. We have nothing to Purchase Place. Cult Powers, we don't have any Cult Powers to Place. Awaken Horrors. All right, let's adjust the camera and wake up that nasty little uh, two-minion horror. All right, so up here at our Wasa board, yes, we have three minions, which means this guy is now fully functional and awake, which is not good. Next thing we have to do is suffer sanity loss. So we're either going to have to take uh, two of our three experience and discard it, or we're going to have to uh, kill off our ritualist follower. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think, I think we can use the Potion of Wisdom because it says discard to pay an experience cost. So we're going to discard this to pay the two experience cost of taking the sanity loss. I believe you can do that. Uh, I'm pretty sure that works that way. So we've paid our sanity cost by uh, discarding the Potion of Wisdom. Um, so 
Maybe that's not correct because it says pay and experience cost. I think the sanity loss is not a paying of experience. So you know what? We're just going to go ahead and eat the two experience. That leaves us one left. And yeah, not exactly what I wanted, but hey, what are we going to do? And yes, now we've done that. We're into combat. We are going to target the Arwasa board and it says add one to the value of minions. Well, first thing we need to deal with is this two combo horror and then we can tackle the minions, but the minions are gonna be plus one. So we have a nine, a six, a four, which becomes a 10, seven and five. And of course we need either a pair of dice, uh, same number or a small run like a one, two, two, three. We have one experience left. We're spending it to get one spirit die. It's gonna give us our regular dice one white, let's go to the dice tray and see if we can take down that two dice minor horror. All right, rolling to get rid of the horror and possibly uh, some of the minions, maybe a minion, I don't know, let's have a look. A three, okay, that's good because if we had rolled a two or less on the red die, you're gonna end up losing a health, but we don't because we roll a, a three. So we're gonna use a two, three as the combo that is enough to destroy the Kathun, and we're going to get two experience points for that. So that's excellent. That means we have some experience now. And then we have nine left. Well, unfortunately, that's plus one to all minions. Um, and so the only minion, uh, we have a nine, but it becomes a ten. We have a six minion, which becomes a seven. So we're going to get rid of the seven minion. That's going to also give us one experience point, leaving two minions up there in Arwasa. And now that is going to conclude this turn. And I think for this episode, we're going to do one more turn and see what happens. All right, no gates on the board. We have one minion on Yogg-Sothoth, one on Arwasa, two on Arlothotep, nothing on the Cthulhu board, and two minions on the... Uh, CF board so we're going to be drawing four cards the stacks getting a little smaller but not significantly so four cards all right we have okay we have lots of stuff this time we have a follower we can possibly buy we have a melting flesh spell we can purchase we have one red minion so now our wasa has got three minions up there and we have the Old Man of Kingsport, an investigation. So we'll take a look at that in a minute. All right, do we want to buy the assistant? Uh, it costs us one experience. Uh, research, discard a cult power. Whoa, she can get rid of those cult powers on the board for three experience? Ooh, I am thinking that is a pretty decent ability. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pay one experience. And we're going to buy that follower. That's a really good ability. And no, we do not have five experience to buy the Melting Flesh spell. Discard all cultists and all cult leaders. That would have been a really awesome card. But we can't buy it. So it just gets discarded. But it does give us one experience. And now let's take a look at the Old Man of Kingsport. And it says, while investigating the area's dark history, you find yourself directed to a weathered house in Kingsport. And it's even older, solitary resident. After speaking with him on the porch, he invites you in. So it's a one danger, five investigate, save, discard any two gates if there are four more gates in play. Well, again, this will be a avoiding uh, the bad stuff. Suffer a two-point sanity attack, then discard this card. Well, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our, our ritualist. He's going to go and try and do that. So he gets a die. I get the free white die to go on there for um, the gumshoe ability, special ability of the detective. So let's go ahead and uh, roll that up and then we're going to decide which board to attack. All right, let's get the danger out of the way. Ritualist, he's going to roll. Please don't roll a one. He rolls a three. Excellent. And the free die if it rolls a one, we're going to fail. Let's roll more than a one. We roll a six. Wow, no problem. We nail it. Unfortunately, we don't get to discard any two gates if there are four or more gates in play because it's not happening. However, it gets discarded. We do not suffer any effects. We cannot use his ability anymore because we've used him as a uh, for investigation. And now it is our turn to decide 
what to do and what board to attack. All right, what I am going to do is I'm going to use my assistant's power of research. Now this costs three experience, but I'm going to use the potion of wisdom. I guess she drinks it. Uh, discard to pay any experience cost. So we're discarding that card to pay the three to be able to discard a cult power. So she is now used. And we are going to get rid of the very annoying Arwasa. Add one to the value of all minions. So this is discarded. So that's great. It is gone from the game. And yes, we're going to go up and we're going to attack the Arwasa board. It has three minions on it. It has a nine, a four, and a two. Let's go to the dice tray. And uh, I think I'm going to spend one experience token to get myself one spirit die. So I'm going to be rolling my regulars plus one to attack a nine, four, and a two. All right, so just before we roll the dice, I'll just show you here. We have a nine, a four, and a two in the Arwasa board, and we got rid of that pesky add one to the value of all minions. So that's what we're attacking. Let's go and roll the dice and see how we do. All right, so we bought one spirit die with a spell. We are going to roll four dice. We're attacking the nine, four, two. We don't want to see a one on the red body die. Whoa, we get a two on the red body die. Now I keep, we do have re-roll ability. We have a two on the green. Let's re-roll this two, because we could get a higher. I mean, we could get lower, but we'll see. And it remains a two. So we have a six, a four, a two, and a two. And so, four, six, seven, eight. Hmm. We're gonna, wow, this is pretty nasty. I wanna get rid of that nine, six, seven, eight. So we'd have to use, yeah, we're going to use the six, seven, eight, nine, ten to get rid of the nine. So that one is uh, defeated with those three dice. And then we have a deep one, which is a four, and we get rid of the four. That's going to give us two experience. All right. One, two. And do I want to attack another board or do I want to just leave it? right there. I think I'm going to attack another board. I'm going to use the hurry spell and spend two experience. We're going to go up and attack the Nyarlathotep board. And up there we have a nine and a two. A nine and a two. So I'm just going to roll the three regular dice. Uh, we don't want a one on the red die. Let's see what we get. We get a six, a five, and a four. That was a fantastic roll. So the nine is going to be defeated with the five and the four and the lowly cultist that's left will crush with the six. That's going to get us two more experience points. And so we have four experience and we just destroyed these two minions. And that's the end of the turn. So I'm going to do a high level uh, pan out and it's going to be the end of this episode and we're going to see where we are. We're going to take a look at the stack of Cthulhu cards and uh, cards of Cthulhu, see what's left, how much we have to go through. And uh, yeah, so far not so bad, but let's do a zoom out and a, a wrap up for this episode. All right, so a high level for the end of this episode. Uh, nothing on the Cthulhu board, uh, two minions on the CF board. We've cleaned off the Nara Thotep board. The Arwasa board has one cultist two, and the yogg Sothoth has one nine strength minion. Uh, we have four experience. Uh, we have the Necronomicon. We have two followers now. We have the Assistant, who can get rid of those cards, and we have the Ritualist. Now, we couldn't use his power uh, because uh, we used him for investigating. But so far, so good. We're going to take a look at the uh, stack. So this is where we're ending off this episode. Take a look at the stack of cards. Um, well, I'll just show them to you. This is what we've gone through so far, which looks like a massive amount. It's around 50 cards. And this is what we have left to get through <laughs> to win the game. <laughs> yeah, you can see that's probably about 150 odd cards. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking my videos. If you do uh, join me next time for episode four, where we continue fighting the cults of the old gods and see if we can shut them down once and for all. Again, thanks so much for watching and join me next time for the continuation of the Cards of Cthulhu with the Beyond the Veil expansion. All right. 
Thanks, and we'll see you next time.